What's up? Okay, we are live. Yay. All right, so uh, we have Sarah and Brandon here with the Harmonious Whoa. Duo. Let's switch that. <laughs> Obviously, he is Brandon. Uh, I am Sarah. Yeah, pretty obvious, pretty obvious. Well, we're excited to be in front of you today, and we're happy that you could join us. Um, there's a lot of valuable information that we're going to take, uh, that we're going to give you today, and a lot of it's going to help you get in touch better with people that are that you feel are interested already in what your product or your opportunity is. So a lot of times that when we got into, when we first started getting into business, we didn't know exactly how to talk to who and when to talk to who. Yeah, and we kind of thought it was like the same thing. Yeah, you kind of could just pick it, you kind of could just speak to everybody in a general tone and they would all respond to people who were really interested. When that's really not the way it is. We're all engineered, basically engineered differently. Very differently. And so what we're gonna share with you today is actually a 50 year old secret. That, 50 years old. Yeah, and the funny thing is it was, um, uh, Eugene Schwartz, and he's the author of, um, I, if I recall correctly, his book is called The Go Giver. But he taught, he's the one who who talks about the um, this fifty year old secret that we're going to share with you in just a minute, and how you know he was onto this so many years ago, and no one listened to him, and now people are finally starting to dive into you know the older like the older books, the older content, and things like that to you know really tap into the roots of marketing and figure out where it is they can you know upgrade their marketing skills and stuff like that. And so without you know, reinventing the wheel, yeah. And so because uh, you know if, if you're watching this and and you've attempted to reinvent the wheel a couple of times like we have, then you know how incredibly frustrating it is, how many so. headaches it can cause, and how just ineffective it is, especially if you're new, like. If you're new, you should not be doing that. You should just be plugging into what works. And so you're focusing on a couple of things in particular inside your business, not the whole kind of how to change the world kind of stuff. You know? Yeah. And so, so with yeah. us, with us, basically, this this fifty year old, um, this fifty year old secret is going to help you simplify uh, pretty much everything with your marketing. Boom. And that that's that's the main reason why we wanted to come in here is we wanted to we wanted to give you something that we know for a fact and we can say that because we're you, we're now using it in our business as well and we've seen the differences already from making the shift of not knowing this information and just kind of being all over the place to now honing in on where we're supposed to be uh, where we're supposed to be at how we're supposed to be talking who we're supposed to be tar talking to um, and then you know just but outside of of refining your marketing and as far as who you're supposed to be talking to and how but this also kind of dives into helping you tap into like new undiscovered untapped niches that maybe you never thought to to go into as a source of income for your business because you thought it had nothing to do with what you were trying to market or promote for your business like your product or service or whatever so a lot of value is going to be shared today because you're gonna you're gonna you will walk away by the end of this presentation knowing who you should be targeting, how you should be speaking to them, and when you should be making the transition with your talk. And you'll understand what we mean by that in just a little bit. And so to dive in, or before we dive into that, um, a little bit about Sarah and I, just so you can get a little more comfortable with this, why we wanna, why we feel this information is so valuable for our business and why we feel sharing it with you is gonna help you do the same thing. And uh, Sarah and I, we come from a background of zero network marketing. Okay, we don't come from a background of computers. We don't come from a background of building teams. We don't come from a background of sponsoring. Like that's we not definitely what don't we come do. from a background of marketing. That's for sure. <laughs> so me personally, I come from a background where I did a lot of stuff on my own. A lot of entrepreneurship ventures that I took on was like real estate, poker, things like that. And the reason why I'm kind of breezing through this right now is because we're gonna try and do our best to keep this short. Yeah, and we want to mainly focus on on the, the bulk of the content versus you know versus our backstory. But uh, just so you know that we come from no background of, of marketing. We come from you know. I kind of have a little bit of business experience. I'm she has, mom. yeah. So she has no business experience. She has an employee. She had an, an employee mindset mentality. for yeah. so long, and working together as a team, it's been able to just give give us give our relationship a whole kind of uh, deeper meaning, deeper meaning, and it, it helps us raise our daughter who's downstairs right now helps us raise our daughter from home and be the main influence you know before it was either me stepping out because i had to you know go to work or do things like that and i was missing times that i'd have to you know spend up the family which is the big reason why we looked into this was because we wanted to spend time as a family and build a legacy something that we could actually make money and, and create an income and generate things and, and help other people do the same thing all while doing what we wanted to whether that was yeah. horseback riding in texas or visiting the <laughs> beaches in bora bora you know whatever everything in between and so, I mean, I think that's pretty much us in a nutshell. Do you want to add anything, Luke? Um, no, I think Brain kind of hit it right on, right on the, the. I, 
what is it, the nail right on the head? hit it right on the head, yeah. I don't remember how you say that phrase, but he, 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 <laughs> he pretty much summed it up pretty nice for you guys. You know, we wanted to just, the reason why we're emphasizing the fact that we have a background of zero marketing experiences because, you know, we don't want to give off the impression that, you know, we kind of knew things before we got started, so we had, you know, like some, some sort of head start. You right, know? 18 months, that's all we have. Right yeah, now. we've only been doing this 18 months. And we, we, to be honest with you guys, we didn't come across this information until about, let's see, it's now March. So about four months ago, if that. And, and to be another, be even more honest, is what we're sharing with you right now, we even knew about it then, but we didn't start implementing it for probably a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Just like a lot of things that we've done in our business that have, that have held us back from getting the results that we want, which is something that we don't encourage our team to do. Now that we're actually... We've been through a lot of ups and downs in the first stages of our business, just how I'm sure a lot of people have been. And getting to implement new things like this that we're going to share with you today excites you about the business and they actually start to allow you to see results. And it gets you to understand that what your dream was in the beginning of this actually can come true. Yeah. And, it, and it's amazing to be a part but of it. But only if you implement things that you learn. And like you said, yes, uh, we when we when we have when we tapped into this information, you know, I remember, I remember coming to him with like my notebook and being like, oh my gosh, like I know what we're doing wrong. This is amazing. You know, like most people don't get excited and, when they learn what they're doing wrong. To hear that information. And, <laughs> I'm like, you know, shaking it all excited saying like, this is going to change everything. And then because of just the habits that we built so far, it took us like two weeks to implement because we we just immediately fell right back into what we were we had been doing for so long, which was you know the incorrect way of marketing. And when we realized that we were still you know we we're like oh wait hold on wait a second something's not right oh it's because we're not implementing what we just learned yet that's why we're still not seeing results. And so the second that you you know realize that there's maybe something going on with your marketing that isn't quite gelling with your audience and it's not getting you the results you want for your business and you come across information like the information we're about to share with you today, it's so imperative from personal experience that you take action on it like right away. That's right. And we wouldn't even have came across this information if we didn't have the desire to learn still. Because we knew that we were doing things wrong. We just didn't realize that what we were doing wrong was just not paying attention as full as we should have. Yeah. We weren't implementing exactly what we were being taught. And when you surround yourself with a community who will hold you accountable, you start to find out exactly what you're not doing right. And when we were able to join a, uh, a couple of our mentors, they put together a Facebook uh, co like wealth code kind of yeah like it was Google a community yeah it was a uh, it was a uh, a training like workshop a four week class where it was it was called the Facebook wealth code maybe you saw it floating around on Facebook um, the purpose of it was mainly for Facebook but the the foundation of of a lot of what they shared is applicable to every right. part like every part of your business because you know let's face it we don't just market on Facebook, at least you, sh you shouldn't be just marketing on Facebook. And so if you can take this and apply it to like just across the board with your business, then you will see different results. I can promise you that. And if you haven't been able to plug into a community like how we were talking about, then we encourage you to get out there and start just like, we were encouraged by uh, one of our mentors to go out and basically join like 300 groups. Cause basically you're gonna get probably what, 20 or 30 of them that are actually good. Yeah, or just know? active, period. And, and you want to be involved with these groups because if we wouldn't have done this, like I said, just to reiterate it again, we wouldn't have came across this information. We wouldn't have. And I mean, if the groups that we have have been able to lead to our success, they're going to do the same for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so yep. uh, the five here, we'll go ahead and share because that's what we yeah. that's where we got gonna, this information from. So yeah, we're going to go I mean, ahead. These guys and that, we were, that created the group just to, you know, do a little bit of edification. <laughs> I mean, these guys have made over a quarter million dollars in, in just one of their just one of their businesses. In just one of their businesses, and they're they're here teaching us. We actually got this at a very 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 low price, but we still have to pay for this, and we're sharing this with you for yeah. free. So take some notes out, draw your diagrams because we're about to show you. Um, yeah. The so five. we're gonna we're gonna screen share with you guys real quick, and then uh, and then we'll move on to explaining what it is that you guys see on your screen. Okay, that should be good. All right, you guys should be seeing this image right here. All right, now this is this is the everyone. It's funny because everyone talks about in uh, any any type of business that's like network marketing or affiliate marketing or MLM or anything like that. The first thing that people who are outside of that community says is, "Oh my gosh, it's a pyramid scheme." Which you know, a pyramid is just an upside down. You know, this triangle is upside down <laughs> pyramid. But that's this is where the real triangle really comes into play is is the triangle of customer awareness, also known as the levels of customer awareness. And there's five. And now, as you can see, there's like um, 
well, obviously a giant red line right here. We'll get to that in a second. But the first stage of this level of customer awareness is, is level five, which is being unaware of the problem. There's a lot of people who are completely unaware that they even need to look for a solution to a problem they don't know they have. Does that make sense? Like it, I'm not going to go and actively seek out a solution for, um, you know, for, for health fitness if I don't believe that uh, if I don't believe that I have a health issue, you know what I mean? And so an example uh, um, to help you guys kind of clarify level five. a really five. cool example too, because when I got this heard to me, I was, I was, when I got this told to me, I was thinking to myself, I was like, wow, that's, that's a very awesome, very <laughs> awesomely illustrated because it paints such a vivid picture for you that um, it leaves no misunderstanding. There's no room for interpretation. After yeah, this. none whatsoever. So uh, an example for someone who would be at level five, who is unaware of their problem and unaware they need to look for a solution would be, um, say you have an Aunt Sally, right? And Aunt Sally is unaware that it's about to be Christmas time, right? So let's say it's, it's around the holidays and she's unaware that that time is approaching and she hasn't even started looking for a gift for her nephew. Sound familiar? This. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's talking to me. <laughs> uh, that would be at this point at uh, Aunt Sally would be considered a level five customer. She's unaware of the problem that she has and therefore is unaware she needs to look for a solution. But let's say she goes to her friend's house and her friend is telling her stories about how uh, like her Christmas shopping experiences and things that she's getting for her kids. And suddenly in the midst of listening to her friend tell a story, she now moves to level four where she becomes becomes a, a customer who is now aware that she has a problem. So now she's very aware that she needs to begin looking for a solution ASAP because Christmas is around the corner. So she, so Aunt Sally becomes aware that her nephew needs a Christmas present. So now she's going to start actively seeking a solution, which would be a gift. And now she has a happy nephew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so on. Uh, once you move from level four, what happens then is now you start uh, to become solution aware, which is level three. And solution aware would be whenever you are, uh, you're now looking for proof or claims for something that you're looking for. So in this case with Aunt Sally, it would be, you know, she knows that her, um, she knows her nephew loves video games. So, you know, she became aware of the fact that she needs to get a gift for her nephew. And for a split second, she's stumbling over what to get him. And then she becomes solution aware. She realizes, hey, wait a second, my nephew really loves video games. He's playing them all the time. So now the only issue she's she has as a level three customer is now she just needs to know what kind of game to get. In which case, when you hit this point, you're going to become a level two customer. You're going to become aware of a specific type of product. So Aunt Sally now knows that her nephew likes video games. She just needs to do research, right? She needs to go look for uh, uh, discounts and deals on products and video games. And so what she could do is uh, she could go around and ask, you know, her nephew's friends or or uh, or children that her her say like her best friend has, who's of the same age, who plays video games. She could go and ask them, hey what are your favorite video games for kids your age? What are you guys playing? What's the hottest game of the season? If you could have any video game, you know, what do you think it would be for a boy your age? That is, that is ways that she can become product aware as she's looking for the best discounts and deals on a specific type of product. So the, uh, the most aware, which is now level one, Aunt Sally has now gone all the way from level five to level one, where she now knows that he, after all of the research that, her nephew really, really wants the new Call of Duty game, right? And so she's decided that she's going to go buy it. And now she's going to go look at the current prices. When a customer goes from level five to level one, this is really important. When it comes, when it comes to reaching that level one of customer awareness, the customer is not going to care about the price. They will only care about getting the exact product that's going to solve their challenge, which for Aunt Sally would be solving the challenge of making sure her nephew has the game that he wants as a Christmas present on Christmas morning. That's right. <laughs> and so, you know, uh, the reason why there's this gigantic red line right here in the middle of the triangle is because of the fact that what happens with most new marketers and anyone who has a business, no matter what kind of business you have, what kind of service you provide or product you sell, you are in fact a marketer because you have to market that product, business, or service in order for you to bring in the revenue. Now, the big issue that most of us face is the fact that we're, and I can say this from experience, we're attempting to talk to all of these levels at like one time. 
which is a big no-no. And so what we learned through uh, the Facebook Wealth Code and through Eugene Schwartz, it, Eugene Schwartz is the fact that this red line right here stands for the level. There, it breaks the triangle into two levels. You have level one and then you have level two. And you have to pick as a marketer who you're going to specifically speak to. You have to essentially uh, draw a line in the sand as to who it is that you're going to talk to because you cannot straddle this, this line. You cannot attempt to speak to people here and here at the same time because you're going to confuse your audience. They'll have no idea who should be listening because they don't really know who you're talking to. And if your audience doesn't know who you're talking to, you're never going to make any money in your business. And so uh, the differences between these two levels is the fact that level five and level four, these two are focused on benefits communication, right? And then levels three through one are feature driven um, communication. So, and so for, the, yeah, for the people who don't know exactly the difference between the two, go ahead and explain yeah. that. So, uh, okay. So let's say, uh, let, let's say we go to Best Buy, right? And we're looking, we, we know that we want a giant, a giant flat screen TV, right? Well, if, if we go and we, and we're looking at these TVs, Brandon would most likely focus on the features, which would be the technical specs of that uh, LCD screen. Like the ones where it says the resolution, the pixel size, the, you know, the, the, the width from corner to corner, all of those ratios, that's features, right? That's the features that make the product work. Whereas benefits for me, I would most likely focus on the benefits. Like what's the benefit of having a big screen TV? Oh, it's so that we can see the TV more clearly. It's so that way, um, you know, it our provides a higher <laughs> quality picture. It's so that we have a tool, right? To keep our daughter occupied when she's watching My Little Pony so we can come up here and chat with you guys. <laughs> Th those would be benefits. So now if you're, if you're attempting to speak benefits and features at the same time, you're going to confuse the crap out of your audience and they're going to have no clue what you're talking about. So if you guys are, are kind of having like an aha moment and you're thinking back to maybe like some of your status updates or things you post on social media and you're posting about the features, right, of your, of your business or your product and you're getting no engagement on it whatsoever, it's because your audience has no idea what you're talking about because you've spent so much time talking to both audience levels, both the benefits and the features that no one knows who should be paying attention to you. And we can say that from experience because we struggled with oh, that for such a experience. long time. Yeah, we actually went through probably about an eight month period where we were focused on completely the wrong thing while talking to the wrong people about the wrong subject. So if you can imagine going through that kind of thing where it's, it's a testing, everything in marketing is testing. And when you have a disaster like how we had in the beginning of our business, there's you don't know where to begin to test. You don't know what to do or where to begin. You don't know what to switch out. You don't know what's working. And without without adding something like this that can actually give you structure to your business and how you're going to talk and who you're going to talk to and what you're going to say, without having these things, you're going to have that disaster for a business in the beginning stages of your uh, of your business. And that's something that we want you to avoid. That's why we're here in front of you, so that we could be your your learning curve. You know what I mean? Like one yeah. of our guys says, hey, we got no time for that. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> we want to be able to, to get results fast. And you know, adding this to your repertoire is yeah. going to be huge. And, yeah. So you know, say say um, let's say that you guys are, are you're on your Facebook right, and you're posting about your business opportunity, and it something to pay attention to is the fact that prior to starting your online business, your Facebook or specific social media platform, whatever it is you're chatting on right now they know you as someone completely different. They have no idea that you transitioned into an entrepreneur. They have no idea you transitioned into, into, uh, you know, an, into an, into an online entrepreneur marketing a business or an opportunity. So when, when people like people's biggest problem, and again, we're saying this out of love because we went, we did this for such a long time and we know how painful it is, but the people's, your biggest you problem yeah. is the fact that, you know, one day you're posting about, um, you know, the Super Bowl, you're posting about holiday seasons and, you know, Black Friday. And then the very next day you're posting about, you know, how you're getting leads and you're making money online and you're, you know, blasting those commission screenshots left and right. The reason why you're not getting engagement is because all of your old friends, people who, who, you know, who have, who, ne who never became aware that you transitioned into an online entrepreneur, they have no clue what you're talking about. The friends that you're bringing into your, into your profile have no clue what you're saying. One, because you know, to them, it looks like, okay, well just yesterday he was talking about a football, football game. What the heck does, 
what what are leads? What what is what is this what is this picture with all of these numbers on it? Like what does this even mean? Okay, well if if someone comes to your page and they have no idea what you're talking about, they're not going to stay there. And you're not going to attract anyone to come into your business if they're not going to stay on your page to hear what you have to say. This is why it's so important that you become uh, aware of the levels of customer awareness, who you're speaking to and decide, do you want to speak benefits? Right. Do you want to focus on tapping into the community of people who maybe are unaware of the problem or maybe aware of the problem, but they don't really know where to go from there? Or would you rather focus on the feature driven audience? And and to clarify a little bit more, if, if you are on this hangout and say you're involved in like a network marketing opportunity or something like that, levels three through one are typically people who have who this type of audience is very difficult to compete with because of the fact that they've already been aware of previous opportunities because maybe they've been involved or maybe they felt they got scammed. Maybe they're jaded so by the community. That's when you have to have a platform or some kind of uh, solution that's going to allow them to build a relationship with you. Yeah. And this, this one, it, I'm not saying you cannot compete for, for this audience, but it is very difficult to do so because you're dealing with a lot of experienced people who most likely could be very jaded or you know, just skeptical of of looking at anybody else's products. That's right. And just imagine that first the first two levels, level four and five, uh, the most unaware people. Those those folks, they're never gonna grow. Like uh, the the pool of those people are never gonna get slim. You know, it's yeah. never gonna dry out. That's this always going to be filled up. There's always going to be people who are 18 who are turning 19, 19 turning 20, people who are getting fired, people mm -hmm. who. Uh, get divorced, people who just want something new, people are, you know, moving to the country who don't want to work for anybody else. You know, there's just so many people every single day that are getting brought into the world that um, it's never going to drive. So don't think like, oh, well, she just said that it's, you know, I have to focus on these and that's only two of the five levels. And, you know, oh man, I'm not going to yeah. get as much business. It's not even like that, really. There's actually more business in the in the fourth and fifth level than in, there's more prospects in the fourth and fifth yeah. uh, levels than there is in the other three. And, so. and feeding off of what Brandon just told you uh, earlier when we opened this hangout, we were mentioning how, you know, this this secret can help you tap into undiscovered or, or new markets that you might have elsewise not have taken the time to look at. This is exactly what we're talking about. If you, if you make the decision to focus on benefits versus features, if you choose to focus on levels four and five, right, this part of the red line versus the bottom half, then you can tap into any kind of niche or industry or interest and bridge that into your opportunity without having to have the intense competition of having to deal with all these people down here who are more experienced and kind of know the game a little bit more. Does that make sense? And so um, the, the cool thing about if you choose to speak benefits versus features is the fact that, you know, when you speak to level five people, you can, you have such a broad stroke because you, you focus on helping them become aware that they have a problem through telling stories and anyone can tell stories. Everyone connects with stories. That's how we resonate. That's why we love movies so much because movies are just stories with, with, you know, with pictures. And so and if, one of the favorite quotes that we love is that the glory is in your story. And I just wanted to say that real quick. It's ooh, huge. Yeah, that is yeah, good. I forgot about good. that. <laughs> so just remember that anybody out there who's marketing or anybody who has a business for themselves, it's not just your product that you're that you're selling and that you're giving to the world. It's yourself. So mm -hmm. uh, the better you could sell your the better you could tell your story, the more uh, compelling you can make it, the longer your readers and your audience are going to listen to you and more likely they're going to trust you and buy from you. Yeah. And so so yeah, so exactly like Brandon said, with level five, you have the freedom to tell a lot of stories and, and you have a, a you, you have an opportunity to tell a lot of broad metaphors that can speak to a lot of different personalities without having to, sh to change the story over and over. And then with level four, once you're, once you're able to go and bring someone from level five to level four, that's when you start speaking the benefits. So the, this level of the, of the triangle is all about speaking benefits. Uh, telling stories and then speaking benefits through those stories. Now, if you come down here to features, um, you know, this is where you would in level three, you would talk about proofs and claims of your product. A little and your more yeah, this would be where like, you know, there's another quote that says facts, tell story, sell. This is facts, tell this is story, sell. Does that make sense? And so the one thing that like she mentioned, just to reiterate, is that if you start finding yourself just, um, giving features, to the fourth and fifth level, uh, you know, the most unaware people, they're not gonna understand the product, the reason why. 
And that's the benefit is the reason why. So if you try and give them, like we said, if you walk into uh, Best Buy, like how she said, and she's more of the, well, what can it do for me? And I'm more the, well, what does it do? And you come up to her and you say, well, this has 15.5 megapixels and this and that. You're going to lose her. If you come up to her and you say, look, this is going to keep your daughter away from you for an hour a day. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna like, okay, well, sign me up. And you see the difference in that? That's why you want to make sure to, 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 to know that, for one, the difference between the two. And two, you want to be specific enough to your audience so that they know that you're talking directly to them. Yeah, something to think about is that uh, if somebody has never been involved in network or or internet marketing, period, right? They they are not going to understand what leads, sales, commissions, passive income, or one of our favorites that we used a lot was you know total time freedom. We have total time freedom to do everything and anything we want. You know, like no one had any idea what we're talking about because no one else in our circle had ever been involved in something like what we were doing. And when you use that kind of language, what we learned is that. Uh, you know, you're, when you're talking about lead sales, commissions, passive income, time freedom, those are actually features. And that was one of my biggest issues. I thought those were benefits. So this whole time that I'm marketing, I thought that I was talking benefits when really I was talking features, which makes complete sense why no one was paying attention to my stuff. They had no idea what I was talking about. So if you're busy trying to, you know, if you're spending all your time trying to get, you know, like quote, like these regular people who've never been involved in anything before, who aren't jaded, you know, to join your opportunity and what you're talking about, uh, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want to use the lingo that you would use with people who have been involved in the industry for a long time, because these, these poor guys, these level four and level five, they have no idea what you're talking about. You may as well be talking German to these people. And if you can turn basically somebody to say, uh, I'm unaware of what I need to trusting you to be the solution to their problem, they're going to buy from you hundred percent of the time. Yeah. There's no, they're not going to get every and all information. To, to to get the solution to their problem and then go and find somebody else to purchase it from that I can that I'm like 98% I'm going to guarantee you with because the only reason why they would would because if you get you went out of business and you just stopped doing what you were doing like tomorrow or they just felt that you were that much of a scumbag but thought that the product was that awesome which it typically doesn't happen with people if they found your site you know what I mean like if they went through the trouble of learning from you they're going to buy from you and people who are unaware who become aware they learn and that's what your pro that's what your job is as a marketer is to get them to understand what it is about the solution and why it is that you are the best person to give that to them. Yeah. So uh, to give you guys like a couple of applicable examples, it would be like, uh, uh, say you guys wanted you decided, okay, well, I want to focus on levels four and five because that's where I feel like I have more more opportunities, right? And you want to you want to dive into targeting. For, you know, photographers, right? Because maybe maybe you have a background in photography and you really like it, you know that it's a popular subject and that there's a lot of people interested in it. Okay, so you wanna you wanna help photographers, you know, make more money. Well, the mistake that that you would make uh, if you were benefits focused would be approaching them from a features benefit, uh, from a features standpoint, which would be something along the lines of how to get more leads from Instagram. That's features. If you wanna target your benefits audience level, four and level five, you would do something uh, along the lines of uh, uh, how like the the new possibility of earning money for your photography using Instagram. And the reason that's so powerful is because one, you're going to have part of your audience who 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 didn't even know that you could do that. Right. Or now they're they're pissed because they've been selling their photography, not making as much money, not knowing that there was another solution out there. So you're either going to get people who are who you struck a chord with because they didn't even know you could do that on Instagram. And then there's going to be people who are like, holy crap, like you can use Instagram for that. Like, that's amazing. I want to learn how to do it. That's speaking. That's that's how you speak to a benefits driven audience. Um, another example for uh, for, let's say, like people who are. You want to target people who work like nine to five, right? You would say something along the lines of an example that that we learned, and this is directly from the workshop that we learned. It was a really good example is saying something along the lines of, are you OK with knowing that 10 years from now you're going to have missed a huge portion of your child's life and somebody else was raising your kids or you weren't there for their first moments? Is that something that you want? That would be hitting home on levels four and level five, because again, you're going to strike a chord with part of your audience who was unaware 
that them working nine to five was really a problem because it was taking so much time away from their kids. And you're also going to hit a chord with those who are working nine to five who already realize that this is a problem. And you've just kind of like, you know, poured salt on the wound and, and kind of gave them that incentive to learn something different that could help them move from working nine to five and spending so much time away from their kids to moving into something that could give them the freedom to spend time with their kids. That's huge. That's huge. I hope I hope you guys are taking notes on that. That is <laughs> big stuff. Big stuff. Big stuff. And yeah. so I think we can actually uh, stop sharing now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now that we've now that we've gone over the 50 year old marketing secret, go. now we've gone over the 50 year old marketing secret with everybody and shared, you know, a lot about how to get in touch better, you know, how to get in better touch with your audience and how to get them to really listen to you and stuff like that. Um, we would like to share with you. What is it that how, how do we end up? getting in touch with our audience and what do we do that's that's the biggest part of our business what tool do we use in our business that's the best thing for everybody else right now um we we actually use a blog we use a blog to help us communicate with our audience whenever any any time of the day the cool thing it's about powerful. the cool it's thing about powerful. a blog is the fact that we can we can actually have a conversation with someone 24 7 because once you post a blog it's on the internet forever. That's right. So we can have conversations with people in the future because that article's never going anywhere. We can have conversations with people in the past because maybe they've, you know, maybe they, it's like weeks after we've published the article and they're just now becoming aware that they want a solution to their problem and they stumble across our blog. The blog is our, is our freedom tool. This thing, this thing allows us to communicate with our audience in a way that, that doesn't, trap us and you can actually focus on both parts if you wanted to. if you wanted to test your skills and get to that uh more aware part of that the triangle like we were talking about add another blog like you can have multiple blogs what mm -hmm. we're doing and so that allows you to tag different uh niches and different markets that you've never been able to tap into before because now with the blog like she mentioned we're able to discuss things with people around the world in all hours of the day and update it every every day that's actually gonna help them create whatever it is that they wanna do. Now, a lot of the stuff that we gear towards is helping people make money in their business, helping them brand themselves online. How to market online, how to build a successful blog online, how to market on social media, email marketing, everything that encompasses building an online business, like that's what our that's what our main blog focuses on. That's right, and that's what we teach when you go ahead and get access to it. And if you look over to the right right there, you're gonna go ahead and see a button. And when you click that button, it's gonna go ahead and take you to uh, the Kalatu branding blog. And that's gonna give you access to get exactly what we just described to you right now. And that's gonna be the one and only online internet blog or for-profit blog right now. Not only are you gonna go ahead and get that blog, but you're gonna get access to us as well. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and give you one free coaching call, which is, a very valuable call. I mean, upwards of about five hundred dollars that we've gone ahead and got us away for. Yeah, and you guys are definitely getting a steal on on the call. It took us it took us quite some time to come to a, an agreement on <laughs> what we should give this uh, what we should give this away for you guys. And ultimately, we realized, you know, hey, we were once in the exact same position, and you know, and and we we just we just want to do everything we can to help provide so much value to you because, like Brandon always says, you know, your success is our success. And, and we, that's why they, you know, so that's why you get this call for free. We believe in you, man. And so, like we said, the Kalachi has been a big part of what we've been able to do to get in touch with our audience. And without getting in touch with our audience, with our prospects, with our market, we wouldn't be able to make money. We wouldn't be able to be at home with our daughter right now. We wouldn't be able to be doing what we're doing and living the life that we're living. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I wanted to share it with you and to get you involved and to click the button right there. And then also we're going to ask you to get in, uh, get up to the inner circle in there. Yeah. Because when you get involved with, like we said, the community, like how we had with the Facebook Wealth Code, look what that did for us. Look what that did for us. It magnified, it magnified our results. What we also have for you is an inner circle product that's going to be able to get you tapped into a community of people just like us. Yeah, this this one is actually one of my favorite products uh, uh, out of out of our business products because of the fact that one, um, well, everything that we have is applicable to any industry. So whatever whatever type of business you're building. You know, these products are non-specific. They can help you build any kind of business online. And that's something that I think is really, really cool is the fact that we give you the freedom with these products to build any kind of business you want without, you know, without trying to persuade you Does that to, you know, to, to jump ship. Yeah. Um, but as far as like the inner circle goes, like he said, the reason why I love this one so much is because, you know, it's an evergreen product, meaning it's always being updated on a daily basis. You're going to get uh, like 
uh, phone call recordings. You're going to get uh, podcast access to all these audios that are strictly developed towards building up your mindset in a tactical strategy, uh, strategy focused way that can help you like scrape off the layers of the BS that, you know, you've built up when you make that transition from an employee to an entrepreneur. And that can take some work. And, you know, like he said, when, when, when I personally approached this business, I came from a very employee mindset. So it took me a lot of tinkering, <laughs> a lot of tinkering to you know to make that mental transition and so you know something that I enjoy very much about the inner circle uh, audio collection is the fact that anytime that I feel like my mind needs a little bit of boost I you know I feel like my mind needs uh, a, you know, a new yeah a recharge or a new layer added to help me strengthen my skills all I have to do is tap into these audios listen to what entrepreneurs across the uh, you know online business board have to say and apply the strategies that they're using with our business both you know not just uh, you know tactically like in a physical way but mentally as well and that's something that has been instrumental to our growth and to our business success so far that's right that's right and so we hope you found value in today's hangout we look forward to working with you and then we hope you take advantage of that button on the right side or wherever it is yes, right now right there. and make sure to come back tomorrow because we're going to be here again and uh we'd love to hear from you i mean if yeah. we missed anything today then feel free to get a hold of us and if you have any specific hangout or anything that you are looking to learn We'd Don't love to shy. help you. We'd love to Feel help Feel free you. to shoot us a, a comment, a message on Facebook, and we'll work it into our Any roster. which way you can find us on the internet. <laughs> you take care, guys. We'll see you.